Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul from Satin Susie. So it has been quite a while since I've ordered from her. I mean, it's been a while since I've ordered from everybody. I've been, I feel like I've been saying that in every video. Um, my, I think my last haul from her was just the steampunk cupcakes. So for this haul, I got these four packs of squares, which I've hauled these before and I love them. I got mostly single oils, so that way I can mix and match whatever I want. They're super easy to um, blend together. There's no cutting involved. I love these. So I'm really excited for this haul. Now, people have asked me before, Satin Susie is not a ready to ship company. Everything is poured to order. And she even says it on her little list or her little um, note here that um, her ready or her I'm sorry her tat time is about two weeks um, not including shipping time of course so I'm just going to get into this because there's like 30 something cents to go through that I ordered and I'm sure she just loves when people order that much that she has to pour <laughs> okay so she sent me a bunch of samples so this first one here is in slap your mama cake which I think is hilarious I like this it just smells like birthday cake I like it a lot. And then she gave me one in peppermint, which I like this one. It is a little bit too minty, frosty, but I think it'll be really good if I mix it with some other stuff. She gave me one in black raspberry vanilla, which really isn't my favorite. I don't really like the scent. And then she gave me two in Celebrate Christmas, and this one actually smells like eggnog to me. I like it a lot. I remember when I first got an eggnog scent, I did not think I was going to like it, but then at the very end, I was like, oh wow, this is actually really good. All right, then she also sent me one that she's testing on. So this is Creamsicle Macaroon, um, and it says this scent is in a testing phase. Your opinion is appreciated. Um, so this is definitely like an orange creamsicle which I cannot do orange and I feel horrible about that because I can't test it, but I cannot do orange. It just makes my stomach turn, um, but I do really appreciate it. Okay, so I did get mostly single oils, like I said, but she is super sweet and she always includes a list of ones that you get that may not be super self-explanatory. So I'm extremely excited. She also wrote a really cute note on here saying, thank you so much for your ordering your faithful support, and your YouTube videos. I have an enclosed uh, new blend, Creamsicle Macaroon, I'm testing. I appreciate your honest review. If you want, please allow a two-week cure time for maximum benefit. Happy New Year. Thank you so much, Bernadette. You are so incredibly sweet. All right, let's freaking get into this stuff. All right, first one here is in Sugar Cookie. I love this. Straight up sweet sugar cookie scent. Amazing. Most of these are self-explanatory. Now, also, I wanted to mention a lot of these I actually do not have from her. I've never tried them. They're new oils. I wanted to put that out there as well. All right, Snickerdoodle, which is a new one to me. I love this. It reminds me of something, and I cannot put my finger on it. It's a little bit cinnamony, but it's a lot more like sweet and buttercreamy, and it has like a kick of something, like maybe a little bit of nutmeg or something. I don't know, but it is amazing. I got Bear Claws, and she's never had Bear Claws before. I was so excited. I'm sure you guys know already. When I saw this on there, I jumped at it. Oh my God. It is phenomenal. I really think I'm going to throw this in here after I um, finish filming. I know she says a lot two-week cure time, but her stuff is normally pretty good when you get it. All right, then I got some pie crust. I feel like I haven't had this one before either. I love it. All pie crust oils to me are amazing. I use them all the time. I love using them on their own. I love blending them. They make a really good blender for some that are maybe a little bit too strong to tone them down. Pie crust is just amazing. All right, I got a bunch of coconut scents just to try them all out. I've been really liking them lately. So I have a description for exotic coconut here. And this one is the Bath and Body Works type. Sweet, creamy coconut with hints of warm vanilla and exotic musk. I love it. Very oceany, very beachy, maybe even a little bit of like a suntan oil type of vibe. But it's also really creamy. I like it a lot. 
I've been loving everything coconut lately. Like literally everything coconut is like on point for me. All right, then I got one in Caribbean coconut. And this is cool, sweet summer scents with warm tropical breezes, fresh coconut and creamy vanilla will have you on that Caribbean beach in no time. 100%, definitely. I mean, exactly how she explains it. It's still very creamy and very, it's even a little bit bakery to me. It's kind of like on the fence of oceany and bakery. I, oh my God, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. And this is definitely one that I don't really have a lot of, if anything, actually, to be honest with you. All right, then I just got straight coconut. I like this one a lot. This one is definitely more of a bakery one. It's very sweet. I wish I was a little bit stronger, but we'll see when they care. <clears throat> I got Cocoa Days, which is basically just hot chocolate, I believe. Um, it's simply rich milk chocolate topped with fresh whipped cream warm to perfection. Yeah, this one is so strong. It's not as creamy as like a normal hot chocolate. I don't want to say normal, but like the ones that I'm used to. It's more of like a straight milk chocolate bar, which I'm not complaining about because I love all chocolate scents. I got some more espresso. I haven't had this in the squares, but I have tried this before in like scent shots and stuff and I love it. So I knew that I was going to mix it with something. Oh my god, it is so strong, but like it's so sweet. It's not just like a strong, plain coffee scent. It's more of like a strong, creamy coffee scent with like cream and sugar in it is the best way that I can describe it. I love it. I think it's amazing. I got Snow Globe Cupcake, which is also new to me. And this is, is melt in your mouth buttermint candy. It's merged with buttercream, rich cupcakes, notes of vanilla, and sugar. Honestly, I'm not crazy about this. And I love her buttermint scent, but I don't know. It doesn't come off as buttermint to me. It kind of comes off as like a fresh mint, like a fresh picked sprig of mint. That's what it reminds me of. So I'm actually not crazy about that one, surprisingly. All right, I got Josiah's Jellyless's Donuts, Powdered Donuts, and Strawberry Jelly. This is the bomb. I love jelly donuts that have strawberry in them. Oh my God, yes, this is my favorite. Not many vendors have this exact one. Some vendors do, um, but a lot of vendors kind of have like the normal, just plain jelly donut oil, but that one is definitely my favorite. All right, I grabbed Coconut Milk Sorbet. I really like this one a lot too. I can't explain the differences between the coconuts. It's so hard for me, but it's so strong and it's definitely not as creamy as maybe like the regular coconut one is, but it's still really good. It reminds me of something and I can't, I can't put my finger on it. I'm like not having a day. Like, no, I am having a day. That's the problem. Um, but I, I hope you guys can kind of understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I got Vanilla Bean Noel. You're coming to the wrong channel if you want exact scent notes. I can't pick up middle notes and bottom notes of this and that, which is why I love scent descriptions, but I don't think there's one on here for that. No, there's not. So I'm sorry, but Vanilla Bean Noel is Vanilla Bean Noel. We all know what this one is and it's my favorite. I've never gotten sick of Vanilla Bean Noel ever in my life. All right, then I grabbed white cake, which is also new to me. I have never had white cake just on its own. I've always had like a strawberry white cake. Um, but to me, this smells like almonds. It's a very strong almondy cakey scent. So I don't know how I feel about that one, but my mom actually loves almond. So I'll let her try that one. All right, then I got strawberry, which is also new to me. <clears throat> now I've tried... Um, some of her other strawberry blends, but I don't think I've ever had just the plain strawberry oil. But this is amazing. It smells like a very strong, rich, decadent strawberry jam scent. It's very strong. I got one in Wildberry Mousse. Oh, I love this. 
so sweet and creamy, but at the same time, extremely strong and sugary. I love it. I got buttermint candy. So I've had this one before. Or actually, no, the, the one before was just called buttermint. Um, and this one's buttermint candy. So I don't know if there's a difference. I don't think there is because it smells like my other one. Now this one is definitely frosty. It's a little bit menthol-y, but I actually like it about that. Like with normal peppermint scents, I don't like the super menthol-y, oh my God, in your face type of um, oil. But with this one, it's sugary at the same time. It's not just like that super frosty menthol kind of scent. So I like that one a lot and I love blending it with cotton candy. All right, I got strawberry raspberry guava, which is also new. I love this. Hers, I think, is a little bit stronger on the guava, but it's still really good. Very strong. So if you like fruity, I really recommend that one. All right, then I got some fresh picked strawberries, which is new to me anyway. This one smells more of like that strawberry patch because it's a little bit more sour. I don't think it smells like fresh picked. It's also kind of coming off a little bit perfumey as well to me, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm on the I'm on the fence about it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I got some fresh picked raspberries. I've been super into raspberry lately. Oh, I like this. It's definitely more of like that candied raspberry. I don't think it smells like a fresh one. I think it's more candy like. I like it a lot though. Strong too. Very strong. I'm so excited. I got some Celtic Moon Spice. Now I have the Celtic Coffee, but I don't have this one. Um, I think, yeah, this one's Warm Blends of Cinnamon, Nutmeg, and Clove. So. Oh my god, I love it. It honestly reminds me a lot of Bear Claws, to be totally honest with you. I don't think there's a huge difference between this and Bear Claws. Oh my god, coconut milk sorbet was on there. Oh my goodness. Sweet coconut blended into a milky sorbet with a slight hint of caramel. So, if you guys were wondering, that's what that smelled like. <laughs> god, I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, I got some vanilla ice cream just kind of as a blender. And I also haven't tried this one from her. I love it. It smells um, more of like a cake batter, ice cream, cheesecake type of scent. But it's good though. I think it'll be really good blended. I grabbed some lemon biscotti. I was still really looking for a good one, but this one's tart lemons with a crispy Italian cookie. Not crazy about it. This one smells like lemon icebox cake, which I'm not a fan of. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's definitely not my favorite. It's not something that I reach for all the time. I will keep it, though. It's not one that's going to go in the bin or anything. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it, but we'll see when I melt it. Maybe it'll change my mind. All right, I got some rosemary mint. Um, now, this one normally surprises people because they're like, that's not something that you normally buy. Now, hers is extremely herbal. Most of the time when I get rosemary mint, it's more of like a sweeter kind of blend. Um, this one's definitely more herbal, so I don't know if I can blend this one the way that I wanted to. Um, there is a scent from another vendor that I've been trying to dupe. It's rosemary mint, peppermint, coconut, and like a marshmallow scent. I don't know, man. This one's very herbal, so we'll see. I don't know, though. That one's like too fresh. <laughs> All right, I grabbed a blueberry cobbler, also new. I don't think she had many blueberry scents, if any, actually, on the website prior to this. This one's okay. It's a little bit more of like that fakish kind of blueberry scent, but I've been kind of getting that a lot from blueberry cobbler, so maybe blueberry cobbler is just the one that smells a little bit more like a fakish blueberry kind of blend. Not that I hate it, it's just not my favorite. Um, I grabbed blueberry just to kind of see if there was going to be a difference. There definitely is. This one is way stronger, and I think it's a lot more authentic, and I love it. Love it, love it. All right, then the last thing that I got is in Wildberry Zucchini Bread. 
I thought I got a zucchini bread. Oh, I guess not. Huh. Ah, oh, I love this. This is amazing. I love her wild berry mousse zucchini bread. Let me look on the invoice. Maybe I put it somewhere because I could have sworn I got one in just zucchini bread, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Silly me. <laughs> All right, but that is everything. I'm super excited for this haul. Um, I will give some of those a try. I'll, I'll try the rosemary mint. I'll try the lemon biscotti and see how it goes. I know I like the blueberry cobbler. Um, I just, not crazy about it. Just not crazy about it. Um, and then the snow globe cupcakes, I'm kind of iffy about too, but I've been trying really hard to kind of break out of my shell a little bit and try some things that, you know, I may not like on cold, but you might like them on warm because I learned that with the animal cookies. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I loved it when it was warmed up. So, you know, you never want to judge something on cold. You always want to let it cure and then you always want to warm it just to make sure, unless it's something that you know, like for a fact, like I know I cannot do laundry. I know I cannot do clean, um, but some of these, even though they're a little bit out of my comfort zone, I will go ahead and try them so we will see thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you guys have made it through all of these videos you are a saint and you deserve a prize um i do have one more left for nana makes sense for their customer creations for the valentine's day um what was it a giveaway it's like a contest the valentine's day contest for the customer blends um but other than that i think i'm actually done I'm pretty sure I'm done after that. So I made it through. You made it through. Congratulations. Um, and I guess I will catch you in the next one. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Seriously, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, please stay safe, sane, and healthy. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.